This may be a little bottle, but she packs a big punch. Hello YouTube and welcome to Happy Hour. Uh, today I'm going to do another review. I've been on kind of roll lately. Um, I've had this small little bottle of Talisker 10 for a little while. Um, I bought a, uh, a coastal, I think it's like the coastal, coastal tour pack. It was three 200 ml bottles, all of which I've had before, but it was such a great deal around Christmas time. Uh, the three 200 ml bottles, it was a, a bottle, or 200 ml bottle, sorry. Uh, Talisker 10, it had the Klein Leash 14 and a Kalila 12. And I've had, like I said, I've had a bottle of each of those in the past and I, I enjoyed them all. Um, but revisiting this Talisker 10 really, uh, really reminded me how much I actually liked it. So I thought it deserved its own little review. So Talisker 10 is a kind of an interesting one. It's not, uh, it's, it's quite peated, it's a peated whiskey, but it's not from Isla. It's not one of the big, uh, it's not on, on the Isla region or the Isle of Isla, <laughs> where, you know, Ardbeg and Lafroig and Bonnehaven and, and those, those big guys are. This is uh, on the Isle of Skye. So the Talisker Distillery is on the Isle of Skye, which is a little further, it's on the, on the west coast, mind you, but a little further north. Uh, I don't think there's that many distilleries. I, from what I remember, there's maybe two or three or four distilleries in the Isle of Skye. And Talisker obviously is, is a pretty big name. And it's, 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 it's on there. So yeah, like I said, you can see I've, I've been enjoying this thing quite a bit since Christmas. Um, there's the last little bit left, so I, I figured I'd, I'd enjoy it tonight and do a, a quick little review for you guys. So let's get into it. Yeah, so it's, it's quite peated. I remember it being quite a peated whiskey. Um, let's see on the nose. Yeah, so it's not, and I kind of, I remembered this, it's not quite as, I love the Isla whiskeys, I love peated whiskeys. Uh, it's not quite that punch in the face that you get from, you know, Lafroy 10 or 18 or the Ardbeg 10 or Ardbeg Ugadal, uh, which is maybe one of my favorite whiskeys ever. Um, it's definitely a little more muted, a little more subtle. What I really enjoyed about this kind of the second time around, and, and again, maybe I'm becoming a little more discerning and I'm starting to kind of understand my new or nuances in the whiskeys a little bit more, but it's extremely well balanced. So you do have the peat in there, you know, a pretty good amount of peat. There's that maltiness, that kind of uh, funky malt uh, going on. Uh, for, and again, for a, for a 10 year old whiskey, I feel like there's kind of, there's quite a bit happening, quite a bit going on. So you get the malt, um, quite heavily malted, a nice kick of peat. There is a sweetness too. I get uh, not so much maybe brighter fruits, but a little bit of like a vanilla honey kind of a thing happening. Yeah, it's just all, I kind of get the sweetness, the peat, the maltiness, but it just seems very, very well balanced and put together. Uh, I really like it. <laughs> Let's have a taste. So the peat comes through quite a bit on the on the palate, which I like. But again, it seems it's very well rounded. It's got it has the sweetness with it as well. The sweetness is kind of a little bit maybe vanilla. It's it's hard for me to, except for maybe like the Ugadal is a good example where there's a lot of sherry sweetness. When you have a, 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 at least for me, when I have a substantial amount of peat, it's easy for it to be kind of overwhelming, and and I tend to get. It's ten, I tend to be a little bit, it's a little bit harder for me to pick out specific sweeter notes. So I get sweetness because the peat's kind of there, the smoke's kind of there punching the face. But again, this is pretty well rounded. I get the, a little bit of vanilla sweetness. Definitely get the peat. There's a, a spiciness, kind of a, a white peppery spice, spiciness that goes with it. Let's have another taste. It's really nice. Excuse me. It's also, it's packing quite a punch from the alcohol level too. It's not cask strength, but I think it's 40, 45.8%. So you definitely get a little bit of extra kick or spiciness from the alcohol level, at least obviously over more than your standard 40s and 43s. And it does come through, but it, it's very well balanced. I'll say it again. I'm really, really enjoying this. I think it's on my list to buy another full bottle. I think it's a nice whiskey when you're not, when you don't really want uh, maybe a huge peat bomb, but you want something with, with a little bit of smoke that uh, has that spiciness, 
and just kind of a general barley sweetness. I think this is a really good one you can go for. Let's have another one. Yeah, it's lovely. It's on my list to buy another bottle. Uh, on that note, where again, where I live, it's not that cheap for a full bottle. Uh, I think it's around $65 uh, for, you know, a full 750, 750 milliliter bottle. This, this little three pack really caught my eye. Cause like I said, it was three 200 mil bottles. So 600 milliliters in total. And it was, it was 50 bucks for again, you know, Kleinlish 14, Kalila 12 and this Talisker 10. So it was, it was a pretty good deal and I'm glad I got it. And it's reinvigorated my love for, for the Talisker 10. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for something a little more interesting, something a little bit peaty, but maybe not quite the punch in the face of a, of a Port Charlotte 10 or a, an Ardbeg 10 or a Lafroy cask or whatever, cask drink 10, uh, I would, uh, I'd give this, this Talisker 10 a try. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click subscribe. Uh, any other comments or any other whiskeys, scotches, whatever type of whiskeys that um, you think I might like or you'd like me to do a video on, post in the description below or in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.